Um, Ivor indicated LSF is about history and about recording what's happening and what has happened in the biotech industry. And so what I would like to start out with this evening is asking each one of them to take a few minutes and talk about uh, how they got involved in this whole area of genomic research, genomic sequencing, and, and how, you know, they got involved in it initially. And I'm going to start, uh, Jay, with you and ask you just to talk about how you got involved in originally in, in developing this technology. Well, I guess my first exposure to life sciences came in 1987 when um, two friends of mine asked me to co-found a company with them that wound up being called Molecular Dynamics. And uh, before that, I was in the high-tech business, knew nothing about life sciences whatsoever. And I went in to meet these guys, and they had this electrophoretic gel with a power supply and a bunch of wires on the table. And they said, we're going to figure out how to, how to image this. And it was unbelievably unimpressive. I mean, it was, it was like, should I be impressed by this now? And I wasn't. And uh, it took them a couple months to convince me to go do this. And so I we put that company together in 87. Uh, we spent about, uh, we took it public uh, in 93. We spent the first period in that company's history doing imaging of electrophoretic gels using um, radioactivity and fluorescence. And then the breakthrough really was uh, when we met up with Affymetrics and Steve Fodor, and we built the first 50 imaging scanners for Affymetrics. And so they were, the, at that point in time, the dominant array company in the marketplace. And so that was a period about 93 to 95. And then in 95, we acquired a technology that allowed us to build the first capillary DNA sequencer, which um, a product we launched in about 1997 called Megabase. We tried to sell it to Craig, but he, he wouldn't go for it. He bought the other one. And uh, the competing life technologies, the then ABI sequencer, uh, sequenced about two-thirds of the first human genome. And with Megabase, we sequenced about a third, maybe generously a third, of, of the first human genome. Um, and then we sold that company in 1998 to Amersham in the UK, who subsequently got sold to, to GE. And a year later, after I finished the uh, merger activities, um, I came to San Diego to become the first CEO of Illumina. And uh, we immediately launched into the array part of the product line using fiber optics rather than the older technology that we had previously used. And then got into sequencing through the acquisition of a company called Selexa in 2007. Okay, thank you, Craig. Thank <laughs> you.